today's video is going to be all about the bookbeam web application we are going to be learning how to use the bookbeam for four major things we're going to learn how to use the bookbeam for book research niche research or keyword research we're going to learn how to use it to find our categories we are going to learn how to use it to format our description we are going to learn how to use it to create our book structure all right so that is what this video for today is all about so if you are new to my channel i want you to hit the subscribe button and like this video on this channel i talk about amazon kdp and how you can make money online basically that's what my channel is all about how you can succeed writing books and publishing on amazon kdp and i bring you ways and new updates with which you can earn money online doing simple simple things all right so without wasting much time let's dive into the video for today so this is the book being application i'll be dropping the link in the description all right this is not a sponsored video but i've been using book for quite some time and it's an amazing application it's an amazing tool okay so there are four major things that i use this book for that is not all that it can be used for all right there are so many things you can use this book application for and if i'm going to do an in-depth tutorial then it might take me up to one hour but because i want to save time there are just four things that i'm going to show you how to use the book application for that is going to improve your sales and help you make a lot of money on amazon kdp so the first one we're going to look at is called keyword research or niche research all right you want to find that keyword that is doing very well on amazon kdp all right it's going to save you a lot of time so let's quick start it let's get started so on the book beam application all right there are like i said there are a lot of things you can use it for you can use it to track a book you can use it for research all right you can see the niche finder category history trademark checker you can see keywords keyword research to reverse keyword to keyword generator you can see optimization that helps you find category listing optimizer description formatter and you can also use it to create all right you can use it to create you can edit opt-in page builder and all that etc etc okay so like i said first one is going to be our research so we want to find a niche on amazon that is doing very well so let's click on niche finder all right so this is what the niche finder will help you to do so it's going to help you find that particular book that particular niche that is selling very well that is doing very well with less competition you are going to put in some parameters like you can see the marketplace where you are doing your research all right so there are there's uk there's denmark there's italy there's france and all don't restrict your research to just us marketplace alone do not restrict your search that's why i said if i'm going to do an in-depth video it's going to take a lot of time all right many people usually restrict their research to just us marketplace but bookbeam can help you do research even in german all right even in spanish even in french market so you can find books that are selling very well doing very well and you can write those books translate your book and upload it i have a video on my channel that talks about how to translate your book and how to upload it so you can just go to my channel videos and then look for that video all right so the preset talks about the different type of books you want to do the research on all right you can research top selling self-published books you can research new high selling self-published books you can research top self-published books with low star rating top self-published book with low rating count top selling self-published journals notebooks planners what search books and coloring books so it's optional so we can leave it the way it is then you want to make sure books is selected keywords is optional so if you know any title on your keyword that you prefer to use all right depending on the niche you are doing your research on so for example if it's a travel guide you are doing you can put travel guide or if it's a if it's a um, self-help book all right so you can put um, um, things like emotional eating all right binge eating um depending on the particular niche you want to really delve into all right so then publisher it has to be i usually prefer using self-published all right by self-published they are talking about publishers like you and i that write our books format it by ourselves and upload it we don't give our books to publishing firm to help us format and then market it for us and all that we are the ones that do our marketing by ourselves we do our publishing ourselves we do our writing and all that 
Then we have the bestseller rank, we have sales per day, we have number of ratings, we have the rating itself, we have the price. All right, so the only thing I'm just going to adjust here is the bestseller rank, all right? I want it to be within from one to around 100,000 mark, all right? If you adjust sales per day, it affects this. Then the number of rating, I want ratings from zero to 5,000 plus, if there's more than that, that's good by me. Then the rating itself from one to five star, there is no limitation to it at all, at all, at all. So guys, I adjusted the settings. I use top selling self-published books, all right, the US marketplace. When I put top selling self-published books, as you can see, the BSR went from one to 35,000, all right. So it brought out some books. So next thing I'm going to try out, still on this niche finder, all right, the next thing I'm going to try out, okay, I'm going to come to this video, I see select category, all right, so I'm going to come and select self-help, okay, and then click on find books again, let's see, no books were found, so let's remove self-help, let's check um, cookbooks, let's see, all right, so as you can see, when you come here, you can select categories, and then it's going to bring out based on this your predetermined preset here it's going to bring out some nice um cookbook topics that you can write on so you have to first of all check you have to of course check for plagiarism and trademark before you start writing your book okay so guys we've come to the end of the video for today in the part two of this video i'll be looking at keyword research proper Alright, this particular video focused on niche finder, how to find that particular best selling niche. Alright, and I hope you have learned and gotten value from the video for today. So, part two of the video will focus now on keyword research too. Alright, we're going to look at how to use it to do keyword research. And we're going to pick an example, pick a book, and then do our keyword research on that book using BookBeam. So, I hope to see you in that video. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel.